So head up these steps, get your weapons ready, because these psycho crazy creatures start coming. Okay, I've taken one down. running away. Period. We've taken out two already. Let's whip those pistols out because there's some psycho craziness. One of the Atlantean creatures. This one shoots what looks like uh, like Oh, that made me jump. I keep forgetting they explode. Oh. That made me jump. That one was shooting, like, little pellet things at us, so... Just be careful about that. Right, we made it to the switch. Okay, so that has opened one of the doors down by the bottom of the Sphinx's... ...paw. There it is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I've got nowhere to go. Oh my god, I'm backing up in the corner. I'm backing up in the corner. It's gonna push me off the edge otherwise. Oh, it's gonna kill me. This is so hard. I've got nowhere to run, nowhere to jump. And I'm only using the pistols. Guys. Okay. Take a deep breath. Pop that medipack. Okay. Thank goodness for that. That was close. It, it so nearly got me. Did you see how little health I had? Right. I'm using this damn save crystal. So, 10 out of 10 recommend saving that save crystal till after you flip the switch and killed the flying Atlantean creature. Make sure you've lined yourself up. Take a step back, take a running jump, and drop and hang. See? I'm just literally in mid-air. This is weird, but very cool, very creative for um, a 1996 PlayStation 1 game. Pick up those Uzis. So you get the Uzis, and you get um, Uzi clips. Now, I'm gonna jump straight back as quick as I can because I'm pretty sure there's some enemies that spawn. You Can you hear them coming? Okay, this is not good. This is not good. Where is it? There's two. Oh my god, there's two. So you're gonna try and land? If they keep flying, we can just keep plugging at them. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, that's one down. Where's the other one? Come on. Okay, so once you've grabbed the Uzis, you've got to jump back as quickly as you can because you'll get ambushed by two of the flying Atlanteans. See? It's coming. Jesus. No, I fell. If you're as frustrated as me, you're not wrong. Oh, that was so close. Stop. 
die already. Oh my gosh, it almost pushed me off again. It did, and it looks like, well, sensor, there's a sensor. If you, if you get a lock on the sensor by pressing X, it will keep a lock on it. And then Lara will just keep shooting any time it comes into vision. Holy moly, it shoots fireballs. Oh, sugar. I've got, I can only jump forwards and back. I can't jump left to right. Come on. Sensors are probably the hardest. I would say the, the flying mutants are the easiest to kill. They've got the least amount of health. The mutants that are like on all fours are the middle ones. And I think the sensors have probably got the most health. You might have spotted this, the second ankh on that pedestal in the room, but if it's like the last one, there'll be a... Oh, yeah, there'll be a sensor. Damn sensor. Come on. Oh my gosh, the fireballs. I'm using so many medipacks. Oh, I dodged a few. I'm dodging a few. And we're in a shootout. This is happening. We're in a shootout. I won. I won. Flipping back and forth. Because this is a very cool moment. Grab some snacks and get ready. You think, oh, it's just a little hole in the Sphinx. But actually, when you drop down, it is an enormous underwater mausoleum. It's got two huge monuments, one for the god of Horus on the left with the eagle face, one for the god of Anubis on the right with the jackal face. A Horus is the god of life. Anubis is the god of the afterlife. This is just crazy to think that this is all underground. Okay, I can already hear that there are enemies out here. More than one as well. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna pop a little medi, small medi pack, get my health back. Whoa, whoa, I did not know they could come into the tunnel. What the hell is going on? Send help! It's pushing me forward. Oh my gosh. What the f- What is going on? Oh, I hate these things so much. Leave me alone. God, they just don't stand still. And now it's run off. Stop it right now, you fool. So there were two four-legged mutant mummy things. There's a centaur out here. Ooh, sugar. I have to put another many pack. Another many pack. How many have I used this this episode, guys? Like Five? Do you know what? I'm just gonna take it. I'm just gonna take it. I can take it. It's so much bigger than I thought. I can take you. Let's let's go. If you want an easy way to take them out, side flip left to right. Oh, it almost got me again. Wow, guys, this is crazy. What in the... 
What in the? Funnier. And if you have any funny ideas now, like to shoot you to hell. Drop down and you can hear Larson who ambushes you the other side of the pillar. He got a good head start on my health there. I did not see him. So we battled Larson all the way back at the end of Tomb of Tehoku when he tried to get the first piece of the ski on from you and he is back once again. Oh, that was quite an easy takedown. Um, he didn't die the first time. Lara just kind of shot him till he was injured and then incapacitated him. Um, if you want to see that fight, check out my previous video. Um, that would be my Tomb Raider, Tomb of Qualapec, Part 4, Pistols Only Challenge. <laughs>